Fish require a specific pH level to thrive. However, pH in an aquarium can fluctuate due to fish waste, addition to tap water, and the buildup of natural acids. Today, I'm going to show you using 10 steps how to test the pH levels in a fish aquarium using an API pH testing kit. Before you begin, I would recommend having a basic knowledge of aquarium care and the following materials. An aquarium that has had a community of fish living in it for at least three days and one pH test kit. I prefer the brand API and that's what I'll be using. Caution! pH testing and altering chemicals are irritating to eyes and skin. Always wash your hands before and after the use of chemicals. If chemicals do come in contact with your eyes, rinse with plenty of water for 15 minutes and seek medical advice. Note: Different types of fish require different pH levels to thrive in an ideal community. Before continuing, determine what the optimal pH for your fish are by searching the type of fish you have online. In this video, my fish are African cichlids, which thrive in a pH range of 7.5 to 9.0. Once you have all your materials gathered, you can start. First, you want to wash your hands thoroughly. Step 2. Remove the test tube from the pH testing kit. Step 3. Slowly twist the cap off the test tube and set the cap to the side on a flat surface. Step 4. Inspect the test tube to ensure it is clean. Step 5. Dip the test tube into the water in your aquarium and fill it to the 5 milliliter line. Step 6. Set the test tube down on a flat surface. Step 7. Add three drops of the testing solution into the test tube. Step 8. Place the cap back onto the test tube, making sure it is securely sealed. Step 9. Invert the test tube several times so the solution mixes thoroughly. Step 10. Compare the color of the test tube solution to the color pH chart and the required range for your fish. At this point, you have completed the steps required to check the pH levels of your fish aquarium. Make sure to repeat these steps every week to ensure your pH levels are optimal for your fish. 